Hello Internet, my name is Sebi and today I'd like to start my new Let's Play series in Kerbal Space Program. Um, I've played Kerbal Space Program for quite a while, so I'm not a new player. I hopefully know what I will do and uh, what I will do is mostly playing around with some um, space planes and airplanes and everything w that has some wings. So um, to do that I will use the sandbox mode because in career mode I have to unlock um, space plane items before I can use them. So I want to start right away with space planes so I'm using the sandbox mode. So I have to choose a flag before we can start. I guess I'll take um, tree, no, satellite, maybe capsule. Oh, rocket science. Even if we want to fly, I think rocket science is the way to go. And I need a player name, so how will I call it? Oh, I call Sebi YouTube. And let's start. Yeah, as I said, um, I will mostly focus on um, space planes and planes. So I will mostly um, use the space plane hangar and the runway. Uh, the vehicle assembly building, I don't know. Um, I think later in the series I will fall back and create real rockets and made some um, rocket science and use the launch pad to launch it. But um, at first I like to explore Kelvin and the orbit around Kelvin using space planes. Additional, we have here our tracking station. From here we can have an uh, overview about all our ongoing flights. Naturally it's a new game so we don't have any flights yet, but in the future we can um, look here and use our active flights. Since the update of point two two, there is um, the research and development building here but it's uh, sandbox mode so this facility is closed uh, we can't access the uh, tech tree or anything which is related to research and development but anyway let's start our let's play with a uh, short flight and our very first airplane um, at first we need some cockpit so I like to take the MK2 cockpit I think it's the uh, best best looking one for space planes. We also have this one here, but uh, it's a little bit too uh, well designed. I can't add something in front of it, so I don't like it really that much. So I'll take this one. So what is important? Very important is naturally fuel. So uh, let us add some fuel behind the aircraft. Um, so what not? Control arm. I think the control mechanisms are mostly important if we are going to space, but until the next episode or even further in the future, um, I think we'll remain in the normal atmosphere so I won't use any of these ones. Um, structure maybe later so at first we need wings. Wings are always important for a space plane. So let us build our very first aircraft. Some, uh, some wings and oh well Larger wings are better. Come on. And here. These ones. Oh, it's a little bit looking like a space bed or something like that. But, um, here. 
Oh, I guess we need it. We take a little bit more fuel. Maybe it will work. Oh, it's too heavy. And apart from fuel, we need an engine. So let's take the basic jet engine. And maybe a tail wing. Where is it? Tail fin. Here we have it. And some rudders. Where are they? Here. Also two of them. And ah, here we go. So, ah, it's looking nice. It's almost looking like a plane. Cool. So, a little bit structure. And I like to have something like this. So, this is cool looking. Oh yeah, um, the jet engines, all, um, all of the jet engines are need some intake air. So we have to add some kind of air intake so our engine can breathe and do its job. Maybe well, around here. That's oh, looking funny. And finally we need some gear so we can roll over the runway and uh, take off and land and hopefully land. <laughs> Let's put it that way. So yeah, gears here. I think we are ready to go. So let's give it a name. Um, test flight one. Save it and yeah, I would say let's launch it. So here we are. Ooh, interesting. Here we are on the runway. Let's start our engine. And yeah, good luck and throttle up. Hopefully this will work well. Oh 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 oh! Yo, gear up. And here we go. We are actually flying. Ooh -hoo. Carefully, carefully. So we are flying over the Kerbal Space Center and hopefully it don't crash in it. Down there, there's the VAB, the research and assembly building. Oh, what is my plane doing? Oh, it's looking pretty stable. So I can also use SAS to have some kind of autopilot, which keeps my plane stable, so I can concentrate on doing other things, like, well, looking around. Let's make a light, slight turn to the right because on this island over there there's an another runway and I think for our first part of the uh, Let's Play series we will land there and have a look at the buildings and the runway. Yeah, I think that might be a good plan. So let's fly it over there. Let's fly over there. Yeah, I don't have to say very much <laughs> about my flight. Well, I can tell you a little bit about my Kerbal Space Program career. I started it several months ago in version 0.21, so I'm quite new player to the game. I've played a lot in the sandbox mode, but I've mostly neglected the space planes, 
that's also a reason why I start this YouTube series to have a uh, better experience with space planes and also to document my um, my experience using space planes yeah um, recently Kerbal Space Program was updated to version 2.2 with the science experiments and the tech tree I've um, well, I can say I finished the career mode by unlocking the whole tech tree um, a couple days ago. So, um, yeah, I'm a little bit um, out of ideas what I should do next. So I thought about, hey, let's make let's make a YouTube series and experience a little bit space planes and maybe. Um, you are interested in discovery in the discovery of Kerbal and uh, not Kerbal of Kerbin and the near orbit using planes as well. So um, yeah, I have two main purposes. On the one hand I like to document what I am doing and on the other hand I like to share my experiences with you. Yeah, so Hopefully we will continue this exploration of the atmosphere of Caribbean and later on um, have a flight maybe with space planes to the moon. And well, we will see how far we can go using space planes. Maybe it will work out fine. Maybe we'll have to fall back oh fall back to uh, building rockets to get fuel into orbit or even reach uh, more distant worlds I'm not sure about it that we will find out as we progress through our space plane experiences and missions yeah we will see now we will see if I manage to land the thing on the runway or crash it into the ground or whatever. So yeah. Ooh, oh, oh. Ooh, oh, oh, oh. Concentrating. Yeah, gears out and down and locked and whatever. So, oh, slowly, not too slow. Ha, ha. Looking good, hopefully. Oh, 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 oh. Come on. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, it's elevated. Oh, oh, oh. Oi, oi, oi. And, and, and. Yeah. No, 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 no. Break, 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 break. Oh. Well, um, yeah. Uh, let's shut down the engines. Well, we are on the ground. And, well. I would call it a landing because yeah we can walk away from it and we are still alive and unharmed and nothing bad has happened to us but I think we are not able to return anymore from this point until we launch a rescue mission. So yeah. Uh, Let's make the best of it, uh, of the situation, and explore a bit. <laughs> 